and in Niger. Suspected Islamist militants have attacked a village close to the border with Mali, killing at least 47 people and wounding 20 others. The Tilabari region has been under a state of emergency after repeated jihadi attacks. In a separate incident in neighboring Mali, two French soldiers have been killed. Iran is accusing Israel of trying to provoke war by attacking US forces in Iraq. Foreign Minister Mohammad Javad Zarif tweeted that intelligence from Iraq indicates Israeli agents are planning to attack Americans. He warned President Trump to be careful of a trap, saying any fireworks would backfire badly. Five Indian cricketers have been told to isolate after they were filmed eating in an Australian restaurant. They've been ordered to stay away from their teammates ahead of the third test due to start on Thursday. An investigation has been launched into whether the five breached coronavirus restrictions in Melbourne, which is trying to contain a cluster of cases. The Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi has claimed the coronavirus pandemic began in multiple parts of the world, not just in China. He said this theory was backed up by increasing amounts of research. The World Health Organization has said the first cases were detected in the Chinese city of Wuhan. Israel has vaccinated more than a million people against coronavirus, the highest rate in the world. The authorities are delivering jabs to about 150,000 people a day, with priority given to the over 60s, health workers and people who are clinically vulnerable. India has been rehearsing how it plans to vaccinate 300 million people against COVID-19 by the middle of this year. On Saturday, tens of thousands of health workers and volunteers took part in a one-day rehearsal for mass immunisation. A second coronavirus vaccine has now been recommended for emergency use in India. Unlike the AstraZeneca jab, it's being made by a local firm.